Hey there YouTube, Jordan here, and we are back with episode 2, where today we are going to be doing some map work. Yes, I decided I'm going to do the map today. Uh, well, when I say map, I mean the starting area. So, we're making a skyblock. If we spawn in the middle of the void, which we have done with um, x Nilo, we're going to fall. So, there's two ways we can do it. We can start in creative mode, or we can start in survival, and allow cheats. Now, I prefer doing the form which is just going into creative mode. Um, we're going to call this the test world, just because it's easy. So, what we do is we create a new world, and we click out of the game. There's a reason for clicking out of the game. You don't have to if you've got a good computer. My computer isn't the best. It can run Minecraft, but it's quite slow at loading worlds when I'm recording. So, we just let my computer start going. Ooh, wrong button. And we fall out of the world. That is why um, I said we should not do that. <laughs> so, uh, we want to go up to Y level of about 70. I mean, you don't have to. I, it's just because I don't like um, the black that you get below 60. And I might want to build down a bit. So, I'm going to go up to Y level 80. And the reason we have extra utilities is because of the angel block. So we build an angel block and place it down. And then we are just going to put a few bits around here just to signify where we want to be. And that is step one of making your map. So now you need to get your x, y and z coordinates. I'm just going to press T so I can tell out and still see. And we're going to go to there. Right, so we're going to get notepad open and we're going to jot down those coordinates. X is minus 631. Y is 82. And Z is 141. Now, we need to do a little bit more with this. And because we have perfect spawn, we can make it so we always spawn right here. And this is where I'm going to have my player spawn in the map. So, with perfect spawn, the first thing you need to do is open bracket, open curly bracket, and at the very bottom, close your curly bracket. And we go, spawn dimension. And we're going to try and spawn in the overworld, so it is 1. If you're trying to spawn in the nether, it would be minus one, I believe? Or is it zero? I can never remember. I think it's zero for the overworld. I think it's zero. Uh, I am terrible with remembering what dimensions are what. So we're going to put zero for now, because I believe zero is the overworld. And um, we're going to put spawn in front of x, uh, a colon, and finish it off. And the same for y. And I believe we need to have these in capital. So spawn X, spawn Y, uh, colon. Uh, I'm going to put spaces in between them, just because I'm like that. You don't. I don't think you need the spaces. Uh, it's been a long time since I have used um, this to its fullest. This mod, perfect spawn. That's the name of the mod. Uh, we want it to be an exact spawn, so we go exact spawn is true. Uh, fourth bed. I'm not sure if you need this anymore, but we don't want it to force the bed. So false and spawn protection. Most definitely wants to be false because you're starting on a small island and you don't want to be limited to spawn protections. So we want to save that to our multi MC instance, which is it, wherever you've saved multi MC instances. Perfect spawn.json right in that file right there. And that's that done. So next up, we are going to exit out of our world, and we're actually going to do some world editing. 
Uh, right now it's going to look ugly, but whatever. If you've got uh, MC Edit already installed, great. If not, I will probably have put a link in the description for this. So you want to open up MC Edit, which will take a minute, because it's not the fastest of things, but oh well. And you need to open a level. Uh, you need to find where your world is saved, which for me is going to be instances. Uh, how to make a mod pack, Minecraft, saves, test world, and level dot dat. That's what you're looking for, and you'll see here there's a few things. So these are Railcraft's um, heat blocks. I am probably going to want to disable them. These around the edge are where chunks are not loaded. I think, I believe that's the case. And I have lost where the player is. There he is. These, and then in the middle, you'll see we have one more block, which is a tile entity. Uh, oh, no, that's a block. These are entities, John. Uh, that is a block which the game doesn't recognise, or vanilla Minecraft doesn't recognise. So, first thing I'm going to do is highlight all of that. Uh, I'm going to just go there and delete entities because I don't really want the uh, the light blocks there. Well, they should have deleted. I'm sure these are the, uh, the entities. Oh, the class of tile entities. Oh well, we can delete them from the game later. So, first thing first, we just want to extend our little platform out. So, we're going to... Because I'm not going to make this a stone platform as much as that would make life easier. I'm going to go like so. Actually, no. We're going to make a brush that's going to be one high. Uh, we'll have it 19 by 19, yep. It's going to be made out of dirt. And when we place that there, it's going to replace everything. So now we have a little circle of dirt. And we're going to make maybe sort of floating castle, which I'll probably do building of at a later date. I'm thinking sort of like the gorillas is uh, uh, floating lighthouse windmill thing. I can't remember what it is now. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we're going to go down a couple of layers with this, I think. We'll do that, yeah. Um, so one, two, yeah. Oh, that's stone. I don't want stone. Back to dirt. Because we want it to be a couple of layers of dirt, so if the player ever needs dirt, well, they've got it in quite large amounts. Uh, so they don't need to like, do any of the ex nilo y stuff. Because that's not really interesting anymore. It was interesting when the first few packs did it, but. Then it sort of got a little tedious. So we're now going to go for... Actually, no, we're going to go a height of... Uh, yeah. We'll do that. Um, I could just cut this out. I might time lapse through it. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think I'll time lapse through the building process. Just so we've got a general platform. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. show you is the fill and replace tool 
and the reason for that is because we want to have a little uh, a little lake right here so it's going to uh, highlight like so fill and replace uh, water we want water still and we're going to fill that there and that's just going to be a little pool for ooh, that's import wrong one that's going to be just a little pool for people to do as they wish with and uh, we're just going to make it look a little less blocky so uh, like that so yeah I'm going to do that and I'm also going to put a cobblestone generator in the map to begin with because I think people have had enough of making cobblestone generators but that's going to be our little basic starting island. I was thinking of doing a castle, but then I thought, nah, having it like that is just as good. And you see this here? This is the player spawn. Uh, we can move that with uh, MC Edit as well, if you don't want to use perfect spawn. And that's pretty simple. Just put that uh, at there. Okay. Uh, I can never remember how to do this. We go... I think it's no, no, oops, not nudge like that. Uh, this one. Go up, 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 up. Uh, you need to place a block first, though. So, uh, we're going to replace that with. We're just going to put a wood plank there for now. Move this one point. Oh. I cannot have two air blocks at Y63 and it. Additionally, you can have a side block in three blocks above your spawn point. I know, it's weird. Okay, fix it. There we go. So, we're going to have our spawn point there. And we're just going to get rid of that block. Like so. Delete and save. So, that will quickly just save your changes and you're done there's your starting area built I don't know how long I've been recording for but I'm going to call that another episode uh, next episode we will um, I think we'll start with HQM maybe we'll do the starting bits of that nothing fancy we're going to do the logo which I'm going to need to go and quickly make something for uh, we're going to do the intro text and uh, we'll find, a, I'll get a audio file as well, and I'll show you how to do all of that. So, until next time guys, it's George 95 and I'm signed up, to, I'll see you next time, I think I did a different intro, outro last time, but who cares, uh, there's a bit of stone there. Delete. Bye!